Hey guys, when you think of Osaka and then of Kushikatsu, you're probably thinking of Daruma. It's been around for ages, turned into a chain restaurant, and also very friendly with tourists with translations for menu and etiquette. But the locals, the real Osaka jins, they go to Yaikatsu. But before you go to Yaikatsu, you need to brush up on your knowledge of Kushikatsu. Welcome to Kushikatsu 101. In this course, you'll learn about the different experiences of Kushikatsu that you can enjoy in Osaka. Your typical experience can include servers going around the halls like this, and many sarariman drinking their stresses away like that. But there are also higher kushikatsu experiences that look more like that. Just kidding, the general ambiance is still the same, it's just that on one hand, you'll be welcomed, and in the other, more like, and the overall experience follows. In this course, you will also learn about how to maintain a good customer and restaurant server relationship. Just because Japanese customer service treats customers like God doesn't mean the same applies in Shinsekai. Make sure your server doesn't evolve into the angry form, and trust me, slamming the B button won't be doing anything for you. Now, let's begin! Lesson 1! Kushikatsu wa yasui mono kara takai mono made pinkiri de aru! Just as with any kind of cuisine, kushikatsu restaurants range from the cheaper, more affordable ones to the slightly wallet damaging ones. The kushikatsu that most of you all know and love tend to be the more affordable ones. But did you know there's also a higher end version of this? Take kushikatsu ike for example. There's no, no double dipping. You get your own sauce palette that you could pick whatever sauce you can choose from. There's like five different types, it's really awesome. And also, it's an omakase style. You just kind of have them give you whatever they think is right for you, and then you tell them to stop when you're full. Also, they have some original katsus that are really, really good. It's a little pricier, but hey, you're free of all the cultural Osaka Jin Kushikatsu rules. And it's definitely worth a shot once you've had your share of the Kushikatsu culture and you want to indulge yourself a little bit more. Well then, that leads us to lesson two. Daruma mo ikedo, yaikatsu wa izo. Oh. For those that are looking to experience the kushikatsu culture, but also challenge themselves and look to some more local favorite spots, Daruma may not be the best place to go. Daruma is one of the oldest kushikatsu restaurants around and has spread across Osaka and gotten used to tourists. But if this is like your 23rd time visiting Japan and you think you have what it takes, then try yaikatsu. There's a whole lot more you might want to think about when dining here. Rush hours are normal lunch hours, you know, around 11 to 1 p.m., and normal dinner hours around 5 to, I'd say, around closing. But back when they only had one store, wait hours used to go up to 1 to 2 hours. Now, I would usually say it's around an hour tops. But because of this, there are some things you might want to keep in mind. Since this restaurant is so popular, they have signs throughout the store asking to refrain from using your phones in the store. They want to keep people eating so they can bring the next set of customers in, especially during rush hours. So as long as you're eating, it's okay and take your time to eat and drink and chat, but don't chat too long that you let your katsus go cold. As for what and how much to order, order this white miso based doteyaki, the signature of yaikatsu, which is so rich and creamy it complements the tenderness of the gyusuji beef tendon perfectly. As for your kushikatsu, make sure you order 4 to 5 sticks per person on your first order and also order a drink while you're at it. For those that don't drink alcohol, that's fine, even a juice or oolong tea will do. They're a drinking restaurant, a nomiya. It's a business for them, so it's just an unspoken, mutual understanding between customers and the restaurant to have standards. As for what specifically to order, always get their kushikatsu. It's the beef, at least in Osaka. Then get their shrimp, sweet potatoes, onions, denkong lotus root, the pork, um, shiitake, asparagus, kabocha squash. But here, we especially love their silk sweet satsumaimo and their grilled anago seawater eel. It was really, really good. Otherwise, make sure you dunk that kushikatsu in the slightly acidic and sweet Worcester, Worcestershire, 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 Usta Sosu, and let the cabbage dive in for any extras and enjoy your Osaka days. <laughs>